Well, hello again everyone. Uh, today I want to share my experience using a GT, GTX 1650 uh, low profile video card and that's, I'm going to put that in a Dell Optiplex 9020 small form factor. Uh, this particular Optiplex uh, is running in a 4th generation i5 CPU. It's got an SSD hard drive. Um, it actually runs two hard drives no problem. I've been running two hard drives for ages. I like the small form factor because it fits in my entertainment unit. And uh, yeah, it's my home theater PC and the one I put play a little bit of gaming on. All right, here's the card. I've already plugged it into the low profile bracket. Uh, comes with a display port, two HDMI and one DVI. Okay, let's have a closer look, um, see how and where we insert the card. I'm going to take off the plastic cover around the heat sink just so we can see the PCI slots better. Okay, so I want to get a close up on this because on the previous video I didn't show this and it ended up being the, the one thing that I got the most questions on and basically if you if you look inside this case it has two PCIe slots this one here is a normal size X16 X, uh, PCIe slot this one is a short slot it's X4 and you if you research that that slot you'll think there's no way that this gaming card can work in that, that slot but because of the power, power supply in the way here and the the case side here there's no way you can plug this card into that full height PCIe slot so you have to plug it into this short slot and it works it works fine I've been using another card from my previous video in that slot for for a long time now and this uh, GTX 1650 works fine in that slot uh, you know I had lots of comments about this X4 slot you know people saying you know it doesn't provide enough power to uh, to drive that that gaming card, and you know it's got limited bandwidth. You know it'll be a waste of time because you know you'll be losing a lot of performance. All I can say is the card works fine, and the X4 short PCI slot. The only thing I wasn't sure about was what's the performance difference between using this short slot and the full height PCIe 16 slot and the only way I could find out was to remove the power supply and basically take the chassis apart I'm going to cut all this away here so I could so we could fit the uh, the card in and benchmark both slots and compare and because there's been a fault with this motherboard it's the USB ports have always played up I thought oh all right, let's give it a go. Let's let's wreck this case and benchmark this card in both slots, and let's let's see what the performance difference is. You know, I'm I'm really interested to find out as well. So let's take it apart. All right, removing the power supply. And I have to get rid of this bit of the case here to be able to plug the card into the full length PCIe port. Right, as you can see we've modified the case. It's looking a bit munted. So I'm going to plug the card in. First of all, I'm going to plug it into the uh, short X4 PCI slot. And I boot it into Windows and I do a benchmark. Okay, so it's booted into Windows. Always a good sign. I've installed the latest NVIDIA drivers. Uh, now I'm going to install the benchmarking software. Uh, this is free software. It's uh, called Heaven Benchmark by Unigen. Right, I'm going to do 
leave all the settings as default. The only thing I'm going to change is the uh, monitor settings to match my monitor, which is uh, 1080. Okay, started the benchmark. It's going to go through 26 scenes. Uh, it takes about five minutes. Finish the first benchmark. Going to move the card into the full height PCIe slot. Do the second benchmark and compare results. Going to leave the settings exactly the same as the first benchmark. Second benchmark is finished. And now to compare results. And the winner is... the X16 full height PCIe slot and the numbers to look at are the average frame per second so in this benchmark comparison the X16 slot is on average 8 frames per second faster than the X4 slot I did a few more benchmarks after this I just made the settings a bit higher, but on average the X16 PCI slot was always 6 to 8 frames per second faster than the X4 slot. So I think it's safe to say for gaming performance the X16 slot is getting up near 10% faster than the X4 slot. And would I recommend you modify your case and use that X16 slot? Well, no, not really. I wouldn't personally. But if you're a serious gamer and you want to get maximum performance using that card in this case, well, that's something to consider. Okay, so there you have it, the uh, 1650. Uh, yeah, it's a great card to use in the Dell 9020, small form factor. Benchmarked in both PCIe slots. Thanks for watching. See ya.